Hello, my name is Karsten from North Sound Telecom, and today I'm going to be showing you how to have a cloud-hosted Unify controller. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get our cloud-hosted controller, and this is going to be from a site I use personally called Linode.com. Going to sign up or sign in. In my case, it's going to be log in. Now I'm logged in, and I can, you can see I have mine. So I'm going to create a new load for, I'm going to use the cheapest one they have. It's This is like the minimum requirement. It's $5 monthly. I'm going to set it closest to where I am, being Fremont, California. And I'm going to have it be running Ubuntu 20.0.4. Okay, now we're going to call it video just whatever it doesn't matter what you call it but for my purpose i'm going to call it video unify server okay i'm going to set a root password and use an ssh key so if you don't have an ssh key you can use putty gen and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to, I believe it's key. You're going to want it on SSH-2 RSA. Then you're going to just click generate. Make sure it says parameters is RSA. Click generate and then just move your mouse over this area. And it'll get you an SSH key. Okay. Now you're just going to want to copy this. This is how you put it into um, here. Click add SSH key, paste it, and label it. You'll see, successfully added the key. So if I were to refresh my page, which I'm not going to, it would show up. So that's all I need to get it set up. So, get it. And again, it's a service, so it's going to cost some money. So $5 monthly. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get putty. And now we're going to start the actual configuration once this changes to running. And the other thing you can do is you can set a, a DNS. Like in mine, I have a Google domain. So I'm going to log into that and I'll set, I'll show you how to set that up. Okay. So I am signed into it. And so I'm going to create a DNS record seeing this is an IPv4 address. It's also changed the running status. I'm going to take this IP, put it in this section. That's a type A and I'm just going to set the time to live to one minute. And then we're going to call it, uh, just say test.nstwifi.com. I'm going to save it. Now that it's saved, I can actually SSH into it. And this is just I'm gonna use the same IP. Uh port 22. I'm gonna accept it, log in as root. And the password is my root password. And it's not going to show up when you type in the root password. That's perfectly fine. That's how it is. So the first thing now that I'm gonna do is I'm going to upgrade and update it. And if it asks, hey, do you want to up, uh, update this? Just press Y and then enter, just confirming it. Like that. It's asking, hey, is it okay if I use more space for it?
Okay. So it's finished. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Java because the Unify controller uses Java. I'm going to also check the Java version. And I'm also going to put all of these commands in the description. I'm just going to copy paste it in so you can access them. Okay, so now I'm going to check the version and it should say Java 8. Yep. And there it is. Perfect. Now I'm going to make sure that this server only uses IPv4. So we're going to go nano uh, etsy apt apt.conf.d. Um, there. It's going to be blank. That's fine. And paste that. Control O to save. And X. Okay. Now we're going to start getting the Unify repository. What's this? Okay. Now we're going to get the other bit of that. There it goes. And we're going to update and install Unify. This one will take some time. OK. I'm just going to check for updates again. And this will check if there's any Unify updates. OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the firewall. So for my purposes, I'm just going to open them. And you might be like, why? What are you doing? That's security risk. But this is a just for a video. And if you want to have it only allow certain IP to go through, you're going to want a command like this and just replace the X's with your IP address. OK, so you can see now I've added a rule and this port 22 is for my SSH. If I did not have this and I rebooted it, I would not be able to SSH back in. Port 80 is for the um, certificate we're going to install onto it, the Let's Encrypt certificate. So we're going to start on that right now. Going to use this command. This one's going to install Let's Encrypt. Just press yes. It's going to ask, hey, can I use some space? Okay. okay. So we're going to generate a Let's Encrypt certificate using option one the temporary web server. I'm going to put in an email address. Agree to the terms of service. Then enter the domain name. So mine was test.nstwifi.com. Okay, so it says, congratulations, your certificate and chain have been saved at this location. Okay, now, I'm going to use a script that was made by a user called Steve Jenkins to import it. Okay, then we're going to go... Okay, going to go, and we're going to now... Um, change a couple things for our purposes. So the first one is going to be the host name. So mine was test.un uh you sorry test.nstwifi.com and this is also on a Debian so I'm gonna uncomment those and comment these ones out since it's not on Fedora Red Hat or CentOS it's on Ubuntu. And change LE mode to yes. Save it. Exit. After it's been, after I've exited, we're going to run the script. So 
going to stop the unify. It's going to reboot the unify controller. And then import the SSL. Okay. Now we're going to set it to automatically check uh, for the ability to renew the certificate. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Right down there. So it's every 12 hours on the hour is going to uh, check for a renewal. And then every five minutes later, it's going to go and install it. If there is a new one, you can renew. Okay. That is good to go. So now I can go to test.nstwifi.com. 8443 important you it's not going to let you go through unless you put https in front of it now you can see it's going to bring me to the controller i have a secure connection the ssl is valid so i'm going to go and create it and i will sh show you how you can add an access point or another device to it okay i've got my controller ready I have an access point right next to me. Default login is UBNT in both fields. So now this is where we have to put in our script. So it's set dash inform HTTP colon slash slash and then the host name of it. For me, that would be test dot NST Wi Fi dot com port 8080 port colon 8080 slash inform. I was going to say adoption request sent to that place. Use the controller. So now we're going to just give it a second and wait until it shows up. Okay. It has just showed up. So now we can go and adopt it. And because it's on a cloud server, it will take about a minute or two to adopt. Okay. Now that our device has become like seeing it's online, it's running, you can set up a wireless network. But that is more likely than not for a later video. If you want to see me go more in detail on setting up the controller and a few other bits and pieces, I have two other videos about those. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.